Tracy, police are now saying the death of a family of five in Saco over the weekend is a quadruple murder-suicide. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill joins us live now from Saco with new details released this afternoon. David, Paul. there is a growing memorial here. Flowers, balloons, candles, even a tricycle, we're told, belonged to the youngest victim here. A lot of shock, anger, and sadness in this neighborhood as police release new details about what they say happened here. A neighbor says this picture shows the three children who were killed over the weekend, 12-year-old Jason Montez, 7-year-old Noah Montez, and 4-year-old Lily Smith. State police say their father, 33-year-old Joel Smith, shot the children, his wife, 35-year-old Heather Smith, and himself late Saturday night. It's just, it's very painful, just knowing that, you know, my kids are the same age as them. I just don't understand. Why someone would do this? Annie Dor and her children brought flowers and stuffed animals here today. The kids had played together and had waited for the school bus together right outside the Water Street apartment that is now a crime scene. They were actually really pretty good kids. This afternoon, police told us they're treating this case as a domestic violence murder suicide, one of the worst in Maine's history. We know that they were having some some domestic issues over financial financial problems. Investigators say the family moved to Maine from Arizona a couple of years ago. Police say they had never been called to the family's apartment in the past. State police tell us Heather Smith had told a friend that Joel had threatened suicide last week by pointing a gun at his head. Investigators tell us the victims were all found in bedrooms. Some had been shot multiple times. Every new detail about this case amplifies the shock and sadness in this community. I couldn't sleep last night, that's for sure. Just kept looking at my children, make sure, you know, they were safe. State police still investigating this case, talking to folks who knew the victims. They say they're expecting family members from Arizona to arrive here in Maine tomorrow. Live in Saco, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.